On a factory floor, a worker leans toward exposed rollers, and a moment of curiosity meets a machine that never pauses. Around exposed rollers and moving machinery, never, ever lean, reach, or investigate while motion is active. Rotation turns proximity into uncontrolled engagement instantly. On an active roadway, a forklift moves through traffic as trucks pass dangerously close, and one moment of divided attention reshapes the entire scene. When working around moving vehicles and mobile equipment, never ever split attention or step into shared travel paths. Machines and traffic don't adjust for hesitation. Forklifts and trucks carry momentum so they can't stop or steer instantly even at low speed. In mixed traffic, blind spots and turning paths overlap, and entering a lane removes the reaction distance operators need. Add distraction, and the delay collapses the safety buffer, letting mass and motion dominate. Roadways and work zones demand full focus. Separate people from moving equipment, establish clear traffic control, and eliminate distractions. Because one second of inattention is enough for mass and momentum to take control. At the edge of a deep excavation, an excavator raises its bucket, and the machine begins to move while someone remains inside. Excavator buckets are not designed to lift or carry people. Use engineered access equipment and keep personnel out of buckets because hydraulic motion and gravity remove stability instantly. An excavator bucket isn't a stable platform. No rails, no restraint, no fixed footing. Small hydraulic movements create large bucket motion through leverage, and any shift in boom position or ground condition introduces acceleration. At height, gravity amplifies any loss of balance, leaving no time to recover once motion starts. Excavator buckets lift material, not people. Use engineered access equipment for elevation, keep personnel out of buckets, and never substitute hydraulic force for safe access. Methods, especially around excavations where shortcuts turn into immediate fall hazards. Inside a compact commercial kitchen, routine prep continues until a hidden ignition source turns a quiet workspace into an uncontrolled energy release. Never ever allow open flames, hot surfaces, or electrical equipment to interact with uncontrolled vapors, oils, or residues in commercial kitchens. Ignition happens faster than awareness. Kitchens combine fuel, vapors, oils, residues with ignition sources, flames, hot surfaces, electrical arcs. If vapors build, a single spark or hot point can ignite them instantly, releasing energy faster than ventilation can clear it. In tight rooms, heat and expanding gases rebound and intensify the event in seconds. Kitchens are energy-dense environments. Control fuel sources, manage vapors and residues, maintain ventilation and separate ignition sources because when heat meets fuel in confined space, physics doesn't pause to negotiate. In an open field under darkening skies, a tree starts to fall and stored tension in the wood snaps back without warning. When cutting trees under tension, never, ever stand in the kickback or release zone. See the tension, plan the escape, and keep your body out of the unload path. A loaded tree stores elastic energy from its bend, weight, and root restraint. When a cut releases that structure, energy unloads unevenly and redirects motion unpredictably. The movement follows internal tension paths, not the intended fall line, and it happens faster than reaction time. Trees don't just fall, they unload stored energy. Identify tension zones, control the cut, establish clear escape routes, and stay outside the release arc. Because once wood lets go, physics chooses the direction. Inside a compact commercial kitchen, a worker opens an industrial oven, and trapped heat and vapors react the moment fresh air rushes in. Never, ever open service or reach into an industrial oven or enclosed Heating unit, unless temperature, fuel sources, and ignition conditions are fully controlled, enclosed heat systems can react instantly on exposure. Enclosures trap heat, vapors, and sometimes unburned gases. When the door opens, oxygen floods in and rapidly mixes with hot vapors near ignition temperature. The sudden change in air-fuel ratio can trigger rapid combustion, releasing energy outward along the opening path faster than a person can react. Enclosed heat systems store energy even when they look calm. Control temperature, purge vapors, follow cool-down procedures, and treat every oven opening like a potential ignition event. Because when heat meets oxygen, physics moves first. 
On a factory floor, a worker hoists a bulky package, and the moment the weight shifts, balance becomes the real danger. Never, ever lift a heavy or awkward package solo. Reduce the weight, use a lift aid or team lift, and clear the route and landing spot before the first pull. A heavy package is a moving mass with leverage. As the load moves away from the body, torque increases dramatically, demanding far more stabilizing force. If the center of mass shifts mid-lift, the force line changes instantly and creates a sudden rotational pull that can overpower stance and traction on smooth flooring. Heavy loads don't need speed to win, only one unexpected shift. Set the move up so tools control the mass, use mechanical assistance, keep the path clean, establish a no-go zone, and if it doesn't move smoothly, stop and reset instead of adding force. Inside a busy warehouse aisle, the forklift driver drifts forward absent-mindedly, and a fixed post is about to remind everyone how unforgiving autopilot can be. Operate forklifts with controlled speed and full clearance awareness, because tight thresholds and fixed structures never forgive misalignment or late correction. A moving forklift carries mass and momentum that resists sudden change. When alignment is off, the rigid frame transfers force directly into fixed posts, and the energy has nowhere to dissipate. Steel and concrete don't absorb mistakes. They stop motion abruptly. Doorways are precision zones, not drive throughs Slow down, square up, and verify clearance before entry. Because when steel meets concrete, physics decides fast. On a construction site, a worker steps onto a shovel-like tool resting against an excavator, and the handle snaps upward with stored force. Never, ever use hand tools under tension or resting against equipment as steps. Stored force can release instantly and turn movement into a rebound hazard. The handle becomes a lever against the machine. Stepping loads it and pivots the tool around the contact point. When the load shifts, elastic energy releases and the handle whips upward along its arc into the space behind the person before reaction is possible. Improvised steps create improvised physics. Store tools flat, use proper access equipment, and remember when. Leverage is involved, rebound happens fast. On a busy construction site, stacked panels sit beside a flatbed truck while a crane idles overhead and gravity waits for one small mistake. Work areas must never, ever allow people to stand or operate beside stacked construction materials unless those materials are positively secured against movement or collapse. Tall stacks of flat panels are unstable because their center of gravity is high and stability depends on friction and perfect alignment. A small trigger, vibration, uneven ground, or shifting one panel can break base friction. Once movement starts, gravity accelerates the full mass instantly, and the collapse propagates through the stack faster than anyone can react. Stacked materials are never harmless. Secure every stack, control the area around it, and never assume stability where gravity is involved, because once mass starts moving, there's no time to negotiate. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.